Game Jew Myths is a series where I highlight a great game that may have escaped your notice. If you have any suggestions for games you'd like to see featured in this series, be sure to leave a comment down below. But today, we're going to be looking at Birthdays The Beginning. <laughs> I don't think you could ever be blamed for missing this game. For a start, its name. Birthdays The Beginning? What the hell does that mean? But not only that, its release date was all over the place. It was different in every region, and in my backwards kangaroo land of Australia, it was pushed back twice and then inexplicably released on a random weekend a month and a half after its revised release date. The physical release also differed from the digital one. So in other words, there was plenty going against it, not least of which is something you may have already noticed. This game does not really have interesting footage to show off. I don't think anybody could make this game look fun, engaging and awesome in a trailer or anything really. The footage you are seeing right now is me actually playing this game and you have to admit, it doesn't look very fun. But here's the thing, it is fun. Damn fun. It comes to you from the mind of Yasuhiro Wada, who is best known for creating Harvest Moon. And Birthdays The Beginning is best described as a kind of godlike simulation game. You set about creating a world inside what looks like a big glass cube, and your goal is to spawn life and evolve through the ages to more complex creatures. The tutorial section is long, and it definitely needs to be. There is a lot to take in, but it didn't feel like a typical tutorial though. It does let you do whatever you want, but it walks you through the controls and steps you need to take to nurture your world, as well as sets you very achievable goals in a way to push you towards creating life and then eventually more complex organisms. It won't be long before you have dinosaurs running amok, and the game does a good job of explaining that when new predatory species arise, some weaker ones may just disappear. But given the right conditions, you can always bring them back, and that's where some of the challenge and replayability comes from. Under normal conditions, dinosaurs and humans wouldn't be able to coexist, but you can tweak your world ever so slightly, bit by bit, and it may just be a challenge you can overcome. A lot of the world building and altering has to do with the terrain, but your actions also directly affect things like soil moisture, air temperature or the temperatures of rivers and oceans, and just the ecosystem of the world in general. The actual gameplay in this respect is a little repetitive and a little boring as you continue on, but there is something cathartic about sitting back and watching life unfold on your little piece of paradise, or being an absolute dick and lowering the temperatures hoping to see some of the life adapt quickly enough and evolve into something new. So in the end, do I think this game is worth full price? I'm not so sure, but next Steam sale, I would highly recommend giving it a go. It gave me at least three long days of enjoyment, and in my mind, that's definitely worth at least 20 bucks. But something that's worth an invaluable amount is your feedback, so hit the like button if you like this video, or the dislike one if you didn't. Leave all your comments and suggestions down below, follow me on social media, and if you're feeling extra generous, you could check out my Patreon page where I also do monthly giveaways. Other than that, I'll see you all soon.